Welcome to the visual effects course. In this course, we're going to take a look at some of the basics of visual effects. One of those being green screen, and we're going to uh, change the mobile phone's green screen to have the Adobe Education Exchange on there. And we're also going to just take a look at motion tracking as well. If we play this, you'll see the phone moves around slightly, just that little bit of jitter that's there. So we're going to track that jitter so that our image can track that as well, and it can look like it's right there over the top. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So to get started, I'm just going to import some footage and I'll show you where I get this footage from in a second. So let's just drag this in. So here you can see the website vidivo.net and there's a free download here of this mobile phone. This is the exact footage that we've used and we can give you the URL for this so that you can grab the footage as well from here. So the footage that we've got here, first of all, we've got a static image, which is just a PNG. It's a screenshot of Safari and we've also got the footage of the mobile phone moving. It's that footage that we want. So let's grab that, drag it down to the new composition icon. And that all that does is create a new composition with exactly the same settings as we've got already. So it's perfect to start off with. Now, I don't want all of this footage. I want just after the first touch about here. So let's go to about here. And I'm gonna choose Alt and the left square bracket. And what that does is trim up this section here. And go ahead to just before this touch here. So just back a little bit. And the reason I don't want that is because if I go forward, we're covering this corner and we're gonna lose the corner pin there, tracking that. Now we can do that manually, but it's probably a little bit too advanced for our first class. So let's come back a little bit and just maybe put it about here, something like that. So we can still see that corner available to us down there. Alt, right square bracket. Let's drag this back a little bit over here. So it's just in line with where we start. And then we want to trim the composition. So go to composition, composition settings. And I know from experience that it's about three seconds and it's about three frames-ish to get this in. So let's do that. It should give us it just nicely. Okay, good. So we're gonna track that footage that's in there in just a second. So we just need to bring in the Safari PNG, just place it there over the top and we'll leave it where it is. Let's get the, the smartphone footage and double click it. And what that does is open the smartphone footage over here. Our composition is back here, but this is the smartphone footage. We need to go to window and make sure we've got the tracker open. I have, it's just down here already. And we're gonna choose track motion. We're using the smartphone layer and we're gonna track perspective corner pin. Going to edit our target and our target here is going to be Safari. It's the only one we've got, so it can be the only target at the moment. Okay, and now we need to put these corner pins over each of the corners here. Make sure you're on frame one when you do this or the furthest back you can possibly be. Let's zoom in a little bit because we need to get right in there and see what's going on. Uh, let's make these a little bit bigger because these are the search area that it's going to look into. And I'm just using the space bar there to pan around the screen. And you get this lovely zoomed in version when you drag around, which is quite nice because it really helps you to see exactly where you're gonna put the footage, uh, sorry, the corner pin over the footage. And we wanna get it bang on those corners if we can. But this one here, I just wanna push it up a little bit more. You can see there once you get the line in, how well that's looking. something like that and the last one put that in over here and then just take a good look at that make sure it looks pretty good I think that is I'll just fit it to 100% okay so now we hit this play button down here which is analyze forward it'll go along until we reach the end of this clip and now you can see each track point is following and it's tracking each one as it goes. Then it stops automatically, which is great. So we're gonna click apply and it'll apply it to the Safari image. So when we hit apply, everything's gonna go a bit weird. Don't worry. So we click apply. I told you everything would go weird. Nothing's happened really that's too bad. All we need to do is click in here to our playhead and move our playhead to frame one and we get the screen back again. And that's the bit that could be a bit weird. The other thing is we see all these diamonds everywhere. They are keyframes. So let's click this arrow here to close everything down. 
What I am going to do on the Safari layer is just hit S for scale and just scale that up like 101, 2 percent, something like that. I've done 105 there, let's do 102, that should be enough. Just so it's a little bit bigger, drag that below the smartphone because what we need to do now is get rid of this green that's on that smartphone layer. So make sure the smartphone layer is selected, go to effect, choose keying and key light 1.2. Choose the eyedropper, click the green and just like that, we've got the effect that we're looking for. Awesome. So when you're done, save that in the same folder as you've got your footage. I've saved it. And then I'm going to go to composition and choose add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. When Media Encoder loads up, I already had it open. You can see it pops in here. And I'm going to choose H.264. That's a good uh, compression to use. And I'm going to go down here and choose something like if I was going to Vimeo, I could choose Vimeo on here. I go to YouTube 1080 Full HD, which I think I'll use on here. Whichever one you happen to be going to, use the one for that because it will save time when you upload later on because it'll be in the right version. Then what you want to do is put the output file somewhere interesting that you can use. So yeah, I, I want it in that green screen footage. Then you hit the play button. It takes a little bit of time just to go across and render this out. But once it's done, you'll have your video ready for uploading. And as you can see, if we look inside this green screen AME, we get like a backup file there of our project. And we can see here, there is the video file running on there. And that's us done for this week. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.